today's food for thought comes from the first chapter of Philippians, verses 27 and 28, which reads, Only let your conduct be worthy of the gospel of Christ, so that whether I come and see you or am absent, I may hear of your affairs, that you stand fast in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel, and not in any way terrified by your adversaries, which is to them a proof of perdition, but to you of salvation, and that from God. Paul in this scripture, again, he encourages believers to let our conduct be worthy of the gospel. Our speech should be that of love and compassion, and our way of living should be that of love and compassion as well. When we as God's children, when we don't conduct ourselves in such a manner, it creates a bunch of confusion. You cannot have one proclaiming to be a child of God whose conduct looks more like one who was born of the devil, and then on the other hand, have one that is actually living in a Christ-like manner. So Paul, he called on God's children to stand together, to stand fast in one spirit with one mind for the faith of the gospel. I think that so many of us believers need to hear this today. But sadly, so many of us, we don't realize just how much we need each other. We don't realize the power that we have when we actually stand and when we actually move together. You see, we rather move against each other and in the end, we do nothing but hurt the body of Christ rather than strengthen the body of Christ. If we were to actually stand together, if we were to actually walk together, those who are of the world, they would take notice and they would listen. Yet because we don't stand together, both believers and those who don't believe stand in confusion. So I encourage you today, let us do better. Let us do better in this walk of faith. There is one spirit that has given us his gifts so that we can all stand together and proclaim the good news to the world. I say to you today, we must stand, we must work together. Mm -hmm.